the first secret have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing i wish to say what i think and feel today with the proviso that tomorrow perhaps i shall contradict it all ralph waldo emerson the first secret have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing having a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing sounds easy until you think about how much conditioning has taken place in your life and how many of your current thoughts were influenced by geography the religious beliefs of your ancestors the color of your skin the shape of your eyes the political orientation of your parents your size your gender the schools that were selected for you and the vocation of your great grandparents to list only some possibilities you showed up here as a tiny infant capable of an infinite number of potentialities many of your choices remain unexplored because of a hopefully well intentioned conditioning program designed to make you fit the culture of your caretakers you probably had next to no opportunity to disagree with the cultural and societal arrangements made for your life there may have been some others who encouraged you to have an open mind but if you are honest with yourself you know that your philosophy of life your religious beliefs your manner of dress and your language are a function of what your tribe and its heritage determined was right for you if you made any fuss about going against this preordained conditioning you probably heard even stronger voices insisting that you get back in line and do things the way they have always been done fitting in superseded having a mind that was open to new ideas if your parents were jewish it's unlikely that you were raised to honor and respect the muslim religion and vice versa If both your parents were Republicans, it's improbable that you heard the virtues of the Democratic Party extolled. Whatever the reasons our ancestors may have had for not having open mind, it's true that they inhabited a much less populated world than we do. In today's overpopulated world, we simply cannot continue to live with those old styles of closed-mindedness. I urge you to open your mind to all possibilities to resist any efforts to be pigeon holed and to refuse to allow pessimism into your consciousness having a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing seems to me to be one of the most basic principles that you can adopt to contribute to individual and world peace no one knows enough to be a pessimist find an opportunity to observe a tiny little green sprout emerging from a seed when you do allow yourself to feel the awe of what you are seeing a famous poet named rumi observed sell your cleverness and purchase bewilderment the scene of an emerging sprout represents the beginning of life no one on this planet has even a tiny clue as to how all of this works what is that creative spark that causes the life to sprout what created the observer the consciousness the observation and perception itself the questions are endless a short while ago earthlings in the space program were moving in tiny vehicle on mars via remote controls invisible signals took 10 minutes to travel through space and arrived to make right turns and instruct a scoop to pick up some martin martian real estate to examine we all marvel at such technological fear feats but think about it for a moment in an endless universe mars our closest neighbor is in front of moving a billionth of an inch across the page you are reading we move a little vehicle on a neighbor next door and we are so impressed with ourselves there are billions and billions of planets objects and stars in our galaxy alone and there are uncountable billions of galaxies out there 
we are respect in an incomprehensibly vast universe that has no end to it think about this if we found the end would there be a wall at the edge of the universe if so who built it he will not perplex him what's on the other side of the wall and how thick is it how can anyone be a pessimist in a world where we know so little a heart starts beating inside a mother's womb a few weeks after conception and it's a total mystery to everyone on our planet in comparison to what there is to know we are only embryos keep this in mind whenever you encounter those who are absolutely certain that there's only one way to do something resist being a pessimist resist with all your might because we hardly know anything at all in comparison with what there is to know can you imagine what a pessimist who lived only 200 years ago would think about the world we live in airplanes electricity automobiles television remote controls the internet fax machines telephones cellular phones and so on all because of that spark of open mindedness that allowed progress growth and creativity to flourish and what of the future and all of your tomorrows can you picture faxing yourself back to the 14th century flying without machines telepathically communicating demolecularizing yourself and rearranging yourself on another galaxy or cloning a sheep from a photograph of a sheep an open mind allows you to explore and create and grow a closed mind seeks of any such creative explanation remember that progress would be impossible if we always did things the way we always have the ability to participate in miracles true miracles in your life happen when you open your mind to your limitless potential the miracle mindset refuse to allow yourself to have low expectations about what you are capable of creating as michael angelo suggested the greater danger is not that your hopes are too high and you fail to reach them it's that they are too low and you do have within you an imaginary candle flame that burns brightly regardless of what goes before you let the inner flame represent for you the idea that you are capable of manifesting miracles in your life in every single case of a person experiencing a spontaneous healing or overcoming something that was considered to be impossible the individual went through a complete reversal of personality they actually rewrote their own agreement with reality to experience god like spontaneous miracles you must have a sense of yourself as god like the scriptures say the god all things are possible now tell me what does that leave out a mind that's open to everything means being peaceful radiating love practicing forgiveness being generous respecting all life and most important visualizing yourself as capable of doing anything that you can conceive of in your mind and heart whatever universal law that has ever been utilized to manifest a miracle anywhere any time and in any person is still on the books it has never been repealed and it never will be you possess the same energy the same god consciousness to be a miracle worker but only if you truly believe and know it within yourself <coughs> understand that what you think about expands as a man thinketh so is he if your thoughts are filled with doubt and you have a closed mind you will of necessity act upon those closed minded doubts and you see evidence of your thinking virtually everywhere you are on the other hand should you decide make no mistake about this it is a choice to have a mind that's open to everything then you lack upon that inner energy 
and you will be the creator as well as the recipient of miracles wherever you are you will experience what walt whitman meant when he wrote to me every cubic inch of space is a miracle what being open to everything means everything means just what it says no exceptions when someone suggests something to you that conflicts with your conditioning rather than responding with that's ridiculous we all know that's impossible say i've never considered that before i'll think about it open yourself up to the spiritual ideas of all people and listen with an open mind to crazy schemes and ideas that at first seem to be outrageous if someone suggests that crystals can cure hemorrhoids that natural herbs can lower cholesterol that people will eventually be able to breathe under water or that levitation is possible listen and be curious let go of your attachments to what you have been trained to believe open your mind to all possibilities because whether you believe something is possible or impossible either way it will be right how can that be true your agreement with reality and all that's possible determine what you will become if you are convinced that you can't become wealthy famous artistic a professional athlete a great singer or whatever you will act upon that inner conviction that prevents you from manifesting what you really like all that you'll get from your effort is being right when you need to be right you are attached to your condition reflects of the way things are and always are being and you assume they will always be releasing your attachments this first secret has two components one a mind that is open to everything and to a mind that is attached to nothing your attachments are the source of all your problem the need to be right to possess something or so, someone or something to win at all costs to be viewed by others as superior these are all attachments the open mind resists these attachments and consequently experiences inner peace and success to these attachments you have to make a shift in how you view yourself your primary identification is with your body and your possessions your ego is the dominant force in your life if you can tame your ego sufficiently you will call upon your spirit to be the guiding force in your life as a spiritual being you can absorb your body and be a compassionate witness to your existence your spiritual aspect sees the folly of attachment be caused your spiritual self is an infinite soul nothing can make you happy or successful these are in the constructs that you bring to your world rather than what you receive from it if you think peaceful thoughts you feel peaceful emotion and that's what you bring to life, every life situation if you are attached to being right or absolutely need something in order to be at peace or to be successful you will live a life of striving that never arrives It's possible to have a burning desire yet have no yet not have attachments. You can have an inner vision of what you intend to manifest and still detach yourself from the outcome. How? Consider this observation in a course in miracles. Infinite patience produces immediate results. It sounds like a paradox. doesn't it infinite patience implies an absolute certainty that what you would like to manifest will indeed show up in perfect order and exactly on time the immediate result you receive from this inner knowing is a sense of peace when you detach from the outcome you are at peace and you will ultimately see the fruits of your convictions suppose you had a choice between two magic wands with wand a you can have any physical thing you desire by simply waving it with one thing you can have a sense of peace for the rest of your life 
regardless of what sort what circumstances arise which you would you pick a guarantee of stuff or inner peace for the remainder of your life if you opt for peace then you already have plan b simply have a mind that is open to everything but attached to nothing let it all come and go as it will enjoy it all but never make your happiness or success dependent on an attachment to anything any place particularly any person in all of your relationships if you can love someone enough to allow them to be exactly what they choose to be without any expectations or attachments from you you will know true peace in your lifetime true love means you love a person for what they are not for what you think they should be this is an open mind and an absence of attachment thank you